If you lived in Lawrence nine years ago, you were 600 times more likely to see a dogfight. Since then, there has been a dramatic decrease in the number of dogfights reported. After an anti-tethering law was passed in 2005, the number of reported dogfights dropped to 25. In 2006, only two incidents were reported. Mitch Grinstead, director of the Lawrence Humane Society, says that today she has narrowed dogfighters in Lawrence to five groups. Young ones are going to get caught. They're going to do something stupid. They don't take care of their dogs, so that's that's pretty easy. And we find them, we can we can just hammer them. But the two other groups that we're working on are good at hiding. They move quickly. They move the dogs all the time, usually in and out at two or three in the morning. So they're much harder to find. While reported dogfighting incidents are at an all-time low, it's still a big problem on an underground scale. Anthony Barnett, who owns Home Sweet Home Dog Resort in Lawrence, thinks the underground trend of training dogs to fight began with the media's coverage of the sport. You don't have to, you don't have to teach a fighting dog to fight. He'll fight. So that, that was a total myth. But the more it got reported on, and the more people didn't know, they just wanted to get into dog fighting and didn't know about it, started doing it. So the media actually created that aspect of dog fighting. Regardless of whether or not the illegal sport was created by the media, there has not yet been a dog fighting incident reported in Lawrence this year. Andy Greenhaw, KUJH TV News.